Okay, thanks for those, Martin. Well, I've nipped over to uh, the Emerald Isle for the Bobby Joe G2 chase over three miles, one furlong. Number one is Battle for Sparta, two, Fort Lauderdale, three, It Mabo, four, Velothe, five, Watchdog, six, Yeoman Spirit, seven, You Do Hoodoo, eight, Bread and Butter, nine, Powerful Beast, ten is Princess Lady Jane, and eleven is Stage Fright. So eleven to contest this G2 here in Oiland. And the star has got him away. Now wait for him to settle down. The one at the back moment is Velocity, which is not one that will like to be at the back, as you can see. Jockey's got his whip out, trying to get him up. And they're over the first, we went, oof, a couple of went straight through the first there with Stage Fright that's demoted himself to the rear in the pink silks of bread and butter of Del Hinton. But Velocity's managed to barge his way through. He's going to contend for first place at the second, being pushed along a little bit further. But the three at the front at the moment are Bread and Butter, Volothi and Fort Lauded out. And we've got a length back to Princess Lady Jane. And then the rest of the pack. But it's Bread and Butter that leads us into the third. The ditch. Oh, and we've lost Fort Lauded now. He's gone. And Powerful Beast has got unseated. I'm not sure if Powerful Beast was unseated by uh, Fort Lauded Owl's fall there. So bad luck again, Paul. Fort Lauded Owl certainly hasn't improved as a six-year-old. So, Bread and Butter's up front by a couple of lengths to Velocity and Princess Lady Jane. They're into the fourth. Nice plain one. They're all over that, and they've probably got about a four-length advantage over You Do Who Do, Yeoman Spirit, Battle for Sparta, little of Battle for Sparta, Spartans, Stage Fright, It Mebo, and Watchdog at the rear. So, they're through five, Bread and Butter, still leads us just by length from Velocity, again the jockey gets his whip out, certainly running in snatches that one, but we've got a bit of a Indian file going into the fifth. And everybody's over it. And it's Bread and Butter that leads from Velocity in second. Princess Lady Jane's third. Yudu Hudu is fourth. And then two lengths back to the rest, which are being led by Itmarbo. Battle for Sparta. Yeoman Spirit, Stage Fright and Watchdog. They're into the six. Everybody's over that plain one, including the loose horse at the end there. So, two by two at the front. Bread and Butter and Velocity. By a couple of lengths to Yudu Hudu and Princess Lady Jane. And then followed through by Itmebo. I don't know how to pronounce that. It Marbo. It Mebo. Battle for Sparta. The grey against the fence. Yeoman Spirit. The outside of that is Stage Fright. And widest of all there at the back is Watchdog. So over the seventh. Everybody gets over that. Poor jump by Battle for Sparta. It's, uh, himself just drifted towards the rear of the pack. Watchdog's the tail end Charlie at the moment. But up front approaching the eighth. The leaders are on. We've lost another one there. You do. Who do's gone. So we're down three. Poor fall there. Jockey didn't take that at all well. Uh, we're down three already. Well, I think that's probably the last fence for the next time round. They go past the winning post. And it's Bread and Butter and Velocity that are going to lead us out for a circuit to go. And they've got about a six length advantage now over the rest. Which is just being led by It Marbo, Princess Lady Jane. Battle for Sparta's got himself uh, steadied again. The outside of that is Stage Fright. We go to the oof, and a big slow jump there actually by yeah, Bread and Butter. Although he's kept kept pace with the last at the front. And we've got the grey yeoman spirit that's demoted himself into last position now with a mile and a half left to run. We just hope that half the fence is still to go for the Bobby Joe G2 chase. And they take the tenth, everybody's over that as well. So it's Bread and Butter and Velocity. Been there since the beginning. Happy to go hand in hand. Well, Velocity being pushed along again by his jockey. Certainly running in snatches that one. As they approach the 11th. It's a plain one. They both took it together. Oh, in the rear there. Yeoman Spirit. Bashed his knees. The grey. And he's getting himself more and more detached from the, the chasing pack. To the leaders. Which include Princess Lady Jane. Battle for Sparta and Watchdog. They go over the 12th. A couple of fast jumps there for Battle for Sparta and Princess Lady Jane. Cutting into the leader's uh, advantage now. So Bread and Butter and Velocity still lead, but only by about three now. Going to the 13th. Poor jump there by Bread and Butter. That's given Velocity a two to three length advantage. We're losing Can't See Yeoman Spirit. There's his little forelocks. And his nose, the, gray, the rear just uh, edging into the screen. So they go to the ditch, the 14th. Everybody's over it, including that loose horse who hasn't given up yet. So it's uh, Velocity, still leads now by a couple. 
but second now bread and butter battle for sparta and princess lady jane join alongside on the outside is watchdog and just a length ahead of it marbo and uh, stage fright so a little bit of change up front now as velocity gives way to battle for sparta and princess lady jane and got six furlongs left to travel so it's battle for sparta just by nose from Princess Lady Jane, the one still on the fence is Bread and Butter. Velocity's still there. It Marbo just on his outside. Length further back to Stage Fright and Yeoman Spirit. As they hit the five furlongs now. We've still got another three to jump as they go over the 16th. The one that took that badly was Stage Fright, hasn't jumped well. Jockey's having to push him along now. The one that's being pushed along well is Yeoman Spirit to try and get back into it, but I think it's too far or too far away. But up front is the two that have pulled away. They're both over the 17th. Two left to jump. It's Princess Lady Jane and Battle for Sparta. Princess Lady Jane heads for home fastest. The two black horses. John Morgan and Josh Sutherland will fight it out because I can't see Watchdog getting back into this. Bread and butter's going backwards. It Marbo was the only one that could probably, yeah, uh, might have a little bit left. But we're just over two furlongs to go. And a couple to jump. They take the penultimate. They both get over it. But Battle for Sparta was slow and has allowed Princess Lady Jane to steal a length here. So a furlong and a half left to go with just one left to jump. It's Princess Lady Jane by a length from Battle for Sparta. These two are starting to pull away. They both take the last safely with furlong to go. It's Princess Lady Jane. Can Battle for Sparta fight back? He's now trying. But Princess Lady Jane starting to pull away. Battle for Sparta's got nothing left. Princess Lady Jane for Jane Morgan. Jo Jane Morgan. John Morgan is going to take this. The Bobby Joe G2 chase goes to John Morgan. Second is Battle for Sparta. Run on well was Bread and Butter there for third. Watchdog was fourth. Velocity fifth. And so Princess Lady Jane for John Morgan takes it. Second was Battle for Sparta for Joshua Southern. Third was Bread and Butter for D Hinton. Fourth was Watchdog for Kevin Meehan. Meehan, sorry. Five was Velocity for Obi Wan. So over to Martin at Ludlow. And join me for Newbury a little bit later.